You have to constantly rewrite your book every day of your life. You know, and that, these aren't just words I say. This is how I have to live. Like, these are conversations I have with myself. And I say it everywhere I go. The most important conversation when you have with yourself. You live with it every single day. But most of our conversations are not the right ones. They're not the ones that are going to push us to the place we need to go. They're the ones that are going to keep us sitting in that toxic environment that you've helped create and everybody else helped create. And you just live in it. You live in that muck. And that conversation just plays in your head. That becomes you. So my first conversation when I was absolutely nobody, and that's one thing you have to say. We live in a world now that's so kind. We, we find the kind way around everything. Like, if you don't look good, I have to find a kind way of saying, I don't like your shirt. That's not the approach. If that's the approach you're looking for, that book is not for you. Can't hurt me is not for you. The approach you have to take, at least I took, you take whatever approach you want. The conversation had to be a real honest conversation in the accountability mirror. Guess what? I was fat. Don't find a kind word to say that, you know what? I've gained some weight. No, you're fat. When I couldn't read, not like, hey, you know, even learn disability. No, I cannot read. Of a fourth grade reading level, I'm struggling. And sometimes I call myself stupid. Not in a way to put myself down. So don't take it like, my God, those are so hurtful. Yeah, they're hurtful. This honest. The conversation has to become an honest conversation of where you're at mentally. Where am I at mentally? I look like shit. I feel like shit. I'm not this, I'm, I'm falling behind in school. I'm lazy. My house is a mess. You have to look at what it is and call it what it is. Don't find words to make yourself feel better because that's what, so we hang around people that make us feel better, that tell us what we want to hear, not what we need to hear. And so we stay away from those people and we stay away from those people, like our internal dialogue becomes that kind, it's okay, it's not okay. So that's where it starts. It starts with that accountability of it's not okay anymore. This can no longer be okay. And calling yourself out for exactly what you are and exactly how you need to fix it. That's where it starts.